Hey, welcome back, everybody. We wanted to get to this. Showed you this yesterday at the mail day video. Oops, knocked over Scott's artwork. Uh, from Garrett over at Slab City. Already chopped the box open. This is the July full service PSA DNA submission. Run through Slab City. Did we get a failure? No, we got a big one here. She said, and packing peanuts. Garrett does an amazing job packing, getting rid of stuff as soon as he gets it. Doesn't sit there collecting dust. Nothing grows moss. Over at Slab City. And he does bulk submissions, PSA DNA. And we'll go through the difference between a basic service and a full service. Had some fellow subscribers join with me in this submission they were excited about the full service possibility so I told them send your cards to me and I'll send them in with mine and they did they gave me permission to show them off here so we'll just go through them one by one now one difference is they did 1979 and prior they didn't do 1980 to the present cards so my buddy Dave Brown had a few uh, 1980 to present cards. Michael Ivey did not, and his one of his right here on top. He said it 1952 tops, and it says right there 1952 tops. Carl Erskine, beautiful card. 52 tops is a great set, of course, iconic. And we got this card yesterday in uh, the mail day video. This will show you the difference between a basic service and a full service. 1952 tops trading card other than that they're pretty much the same so slab is the same this is the 52 tops is an oversized card that's why it's a little bit different as far as the border around the card 61 fleer is a normal quote-unquote normal sized card so that's the big difference you get the year and name of the card at the top and is it worth it to you this card to get slabbed through slab city is typically seventeen dollars uh, this card to get slabbed through slab city is typically about thirty two dollars michael ivy again with the carl erskine times two so nice he did it twice here's a nice 52 tops Vern law with some tape damage on the right side but still spanked by the great spanker mr law and he had five, I think. Ned Garver, 52 tops again. That passed. Nice looking card there. Remember, these are these cards are 72 years old. And this guy's still signing them. Bobby Shantz, 52 AO MVP. Nice looking card there. 52 tops, of course. So there's Michael Ivey's submission. Those five, not this one, of course. And let's go down to Dave Brown's cards. DR Brown here on Facebook. If you've seen him comment on my videos, he watches all of them, comments on most of them. Uh, I think that's mine there. So he got five of them back. First one being a 66 tops Bill Mazeroski. Again, there's 66 tops right there on top. I didn't need to guess. Speaking of Vern Law, there's a 58 tops. Vern Law nicely spanked by the deacon. Spanked by the deacon. Some people had that in Catholic school. And I think this is Dave's, I'm pretty sure. 65 Steve Carlton rookie. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Carlton will sign that for 40 bucks. Fritz Ackley is no longer with us. And then the Garvey 1974 and MVP inscription on the 71 tops garvey rookie very nice again these were 32 dollars a pop to get them slabbed is it worth it for the year 72 tops raleigh fingers big old unibrow no mustache <clears throat> that from one of those erskins okay here are six of mine i think i sent six seven hmm 
I feel confident that I had seven. And the big tops card was the beautiful 71, 70 tops, Cal Mur Calvin Murphy, rookie card, Hall of Fame 93 inscription. Tough card to get a hold of. We've gotten this before from Calvin Murphy. Not too far distant past. We got that signed again. 66 tops. Fergie Jenkins, Phillies rookies. Bill Sorrell's no longer with us. Can't complete that card, so send it in and get it slapped. So 32 bucks a pop. You're sending the cream of the crop. 56 tops, Rosie Greer, that's his rookie card. He's not in the Hall of Fame, but he was a great, great player, as well as becoming an actor and a pastor after his playing days. 68 tops, Bob Greasy, rookie. We just got him back Thursday <laughs> via TTM, but not on the rookie card. Gotten that signed by him a couple different times. One has a little crease in the middle. It's currently for sale on eBay. Next up, nice. 58 Tops Orlando Cepeda rookie card with the 1958 Rookie of the Year inscription. That'll cost you. Card's expensive, so $20 for the autograph, $10 for the inscription, and $32 to slab it full service. 60 Tops. Jim Cott, rookie, with no Hall of Fame inscription. He's now charging $40 to sign that card. Was charging 5 way back when. Then 20 now 40 And the final one, oh, so much goodness. The 65 Philadelphia Dick LeBeau. Tough card to get a hold of. Tough, fun, good condition for a good price. With the Hall of Fame inscription. Hall of Fame 2010. How about that? So what'd you think? Goodness, goodness, goodness. And we'll save the um, December edition for another video coming up in the future. Thought I'd expose, get to show you everybody returns here before I have to mail them back. Hope the guys won't watch this video, or maybe I'll put it off until they get it and receive them in the mail. Who knows? But tell me what you think. If you haven't subscribed yet, we try to do these reveals every time we get a Submission back either from Beckett Authentication Services or from PSA DNA. We'll show them off and let you see them slabbed up. If you missed the last slab video, I'll leave a link to that right there. Thanks for being with me today. Have a great weekend and we will see you soon.